What is up, Coretics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular Fast and Furious vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what Fast and Furious car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that the Fast and Furious series is separate from the normal movie TV show series. But anyways, in today's video, we're going to be building Dom's infamous 1970 Dodge Charger from the first movie. The car we're going to be using for this build is the Beater Dukes, but alternatively you can also use the regular Dukes. Now the reason we're using the Beater variant is because it offers lots of details to make it look closer to the real life one. Now the Dukes is mainly based on the 1969 Dodge Charger, which you can see by the front grille and tail light shape, but it's still close enough to the 1970 from the movie. Now of course we all know this car was used by Dom at the end of the first movie to avenge Jesse's murder and also race Brian at the end of the movie in that legendary racing scene and of course the car was wrecked at the end of the film but there were many stunt variants used and multiple cars used for the movie so a lot of them still survive till this day and the main hero car which is the one I'm using for most of the screenshots in this video is currently in another country so yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Dom's 1970 Dodge Charger from the movie The Fast and the Furious. Alright, Dom's Charger, let's do it. We end from the first movie. What can I help you with? Okay, so as usual for these builds, I like to do full armor and performance mods. We're going to do that. Armor brakes. Front bumper. Uh, so for this one, you want to go with the repaired stock bumper. That's the one you want to do. So stock bumper is going to be the closest. Engine will max out. Exhaust. Uh, now this one, um, it's really a toss up. You can either go with the stock or the round. Uh, personally, I think the round is a bit closer, even though uh, the angle of the tip wasn't as drastic as this one is. Um, so it's kind of sort of between stock and round, but um, I think the round just the placement of the round is a little better. So we'll do that. But here's all the other options here. You can see they're just way off from what we're looking for so I'm gonna go for the round exit here fenders you want to go with repaired fenders grill you want to go down here so um, to the billet grill so in my opinion this is gonna be the closest now the real grill had these like vertical um, lines as you can see with a, with a two horizontal ones down the uh, middle there um, so, I mean, it's a pretty unique look. We don't really have anything close to that. You could probably say maybe the crown grill is a bit close, but the grill here is chrome, as you can see. It doesn't really match the black. Um, and the dash grill just looks way off. Uh, the billet grill, to me, is going to be the closest. And the zip grill is just, like, Cuda style. That's just way off. So, um, billet grill, at least in my opinion, is going to be the closest, even though the lines here are vertical instead of, like, the horizontal. But, um... Yeah, I think this is going to be the closest, but you can also go with stock. That's also a good option. Um, so stock or billet, it's it's up to you uh, what you prefer, but I think the, the billet is going to be a, a bit closer, so we'll do that. All right, so hood, you're going to go all the way down here to the triple intake bug catcher. Of course, the legendary, infamous <laughs> bug catcher, uh, supercharger, crazy blower. This, this is the... What, what kind of made the car unique and crazy um, so the blower on this car is gonna be like a lot more detailed than the one from the regular Dukes however the one from the regular Dukes is a bit closer in shape to the one from the real car but the detail on that one is just terrible um, to me you know this one's a bit better obviously the the flaps also work as well as you can see which is just super cool and the belt and everything it's just a lot more detailed and better in general so Triple one take bug catcher. Lights you're gonna leave stock there. Livery you're gonna leave stock. Louvers also stock. Mirrors. So you're gonna go down here to the circular mirrors. That's gonna be the closest to the real one. Plate. Now uh, the real card did have a California plate, very similar to the blue on white one, as you can see with the little stripe on the top and everything. So this is the perfect plate here. And then the lettering on the real one, the text was 2JRI424. So for those of you who want to replicate that once Rockstar gets, you know, the replacement for the iFruit app up. But um, currently we don't have that. So 
This is Dom's car, so I'm gonna throw my family plate on there. So we'll do that for now. Um, respray. So for this one, you just wanna wanna go with a classic black. So boom, classic black. Very simple. Um, now, if you're in my crew or you're in a crew that has a pure black, which looks a bit better, you can also do that. You can see it's just a bit darker, more like a deep um, black, as you can see. And, uh, so we're gonna might as well do that. Um, secondary color is going to be like all the trim and stuff. So for this, you want to go down here to uh, metals and you want to go with, I'm sorry, not metals. Well, you can also go with metals. You can go with a brushed black steel if you don't want too much of a chrome look. But um, the chrome is going to be the closest to me. So we're going to do the chrome. Now, it's not exact because Dom's charger didn't have the chrome um, kind of trim around the front and rear fenders. Um, but it did have it on the bumpers and stuff. I mean, we can't get like super close. It just is what it is. But I think it's close enough. So do that. Roll cage. So this one's a bit of a debate. Um, you can go with. Well, let me preface here a little bit. So I believe there was five different chargers used in the first movie. There was like different stunt cars, hero cars, all that type of stuff. And some of them had two seats, some of them had one driver's seat. So depending on what build you're going with, you can go with the sun cage, but the sun cage is forced in like this sort of like bronze sort of color. And when you put this sun cage option with the seat removed, it puts like the stunt logo back here, which is really annoying. So this is also why we use the Beater Dukes. Uh, to me, overall, the best choice is gonna be the dash cage. So this one gives us the racing seats with the racing harness, uh, roll cage and all that. And I think that's going to be uh, the closest um, considering all the other options here as you can see. So yeah, dash cage it is. Roof, you want to go with painted roof. Spoiler, uh, the car did not have a spoiler so stock. Suspension. Uh, to me, I mean, the cart did sit pretty high. I, I think stock is going to be the closest. I think lower is just way too low, so stock. Transmission, we're going to skip turbo because we don't want the turbo noise. Would be nice if Rockstar gave us like a supercharger option so we can hear the whine on cars. That would be really cool, but um, maybe in GTA 6 when we get it in 10 years. <laughs> okay, uh, muscle, we'll go to uh, chrome. Um, so for this one, you can choose between bas basically like three different wheels. So you can either go with the classic fives, the Dukes, um, actually four different wheels, the Kraka, um, or the Asriel. So you can go with um, either one of these four. Personally, to me, I think the Dukes is going to be the closest because of the sort of like deep dish look that it has and the spokes and all that. Um, but in reality, I, I think it's more of like a mix between this one and and the dukes i don't know it's a bit of a toss-up the crack is also pretty close to it but the spokes are just too sharp um it needs to be more round and then more flat but in general at least to me the dukes is going to be my personal pick so we'll do that and these are also available in lowrider i believe um let's see here yeah they're also here on lowrider so i could have save money there and gotten them for free as I have it unlocked but I already bought it whatever <laughs> um, all right wheelie bar you want to go to repaired rear bumper for some reason there isn't like a rear bumper like option on this car where the front bumper option supposed to be so for some reason they hid this option in the wheelie bar section but yeah just put repair rear bumper that's what you want windows the car didn't have any tints in the movie so yeah you want to keep that stock that's all the options there all right, let's take it for a drive. Family. <laughs> Dom's Charger. I think we should do a Supra next. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this thing's sick. I love it. We're going to get the... Boom, though. The lights, it just looks so much closer. Oh, that is so, so sick. I love it. Absolutely love it. The crew black looks fantastic on here, too. What a beauty. So iconic. So iconic. Alright, floor it here. Oh. Now, for those of you who don't know, the, um, the regular Dukes is actually faster than the Beater Dukes when they're both fully maxed out. 
Um, it's not it's not a crazy difference, but the difference is there. Uh, but yeah, just more Rockstar logic. <laughs> wow, it is a traditional muscle. It is a, it is a traditional muscle car. I can tell you that the handling is a, it's a bit of a handful. Oh, that's right. We didn't put the spoiler upgrade either because it's not part of the build. So that, that, I was wondering why it was the why the back end was so loose. That's that's the main reason. I'm used to driving this car with a spoiler upgrade. Oh my god, the back end is like completely, completely loose. It's fun though. Alright, of course this is a muscle car, we can do wheelies. Boom. Let's do it. Let's do a better wheelie with some throttle control. You know what? Let's just turn it around here. Alright, let's see what it can do. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Well, first, oh my god, look at that blower in first person. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, in real life, the people who drive these, I mean, obviously they mainly use it for drag racing or for car shows, but, I mean, how do you, how do you see out of this thing, the visibility? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is awesome. I love it. The family plate looks hilarious on there. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I mean, to me, the Beater Dukes, I mean, it's just the better, like, overall build for this, the, the, the details and everything. Um, let's pull over here so I can show you guys the engine bay. I mean, there's just so many different things that this car does better. Alright, first person here. Vehicle doors. Let's go all. Oh, that's right. The hood doesn't open with this option because of the hood pins. I forgot about that. But it does have, like, the the Hemi engine model under here. The same one from the Gauntlet Classic, for those of you wondering. So, Alright. First person, there are the racing seats. The Ponte logo with the full roll cage and everything. It looks so sick. I love that. Back here, we have normal trunk. With kind of poor texture quality, but as to be expected from a car this old. Um... Yeah, not bad. I I love it. We're definitely going to do a Fast and Furious meet um, soon as we get closer to the release of the 10th film. Um, obviously, depending on when you're watching this video. At the time of this recording, we still don't have the 10th Fast and Furious movie. Um, so, But I do want to get out as many of these Fast and Furious builds as I can out just so we have more like accurate uh, builds that you guys can follow. Because some of the builds I've seen at some of the meets... They always get something wrong. <laughs> oh, the wheel or an extra spoiler that shouldn't be there or something. And to me, the accuracy is key. Obviously, there are some little options here and there that are up for debate, like the grill um, and also the wheels. But in general, you know, I think we got most of it uh, correct. But um, and obviously in the movie, the roll cage was chrome. But, you know, in this one, it's face. You know, it's a forced and primary color. But. But anyways, guys, definitely let me know what Fast and Furious movie you want to see me do next down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.